And walking forward. They're off. They got 17 to jump on their two and a half miles on the way round in this Virgin Bet Ciliar's Novices Chase and Pick Dory just in front in the early strides is off to the left in the blue and pink. L'Empresse, the green and white jacket in the centre. Off to the right there. Now maroon colours this afternoon for Mr. Coffey was over it in third place. Here's number two. Behind those is Gladiator Allen, the orange colours. Two lengths behind, he runs in fourth place. And Fugitive, violet jacket and a white cap is the back marker of the quintet who are now uh, safely over the first three of these 17. Swing right-handed on their way back towards home in the early strides. So pick Dory. A blue and pink jacket for Harry Cobden has the advantage. He's by far the highest earner in this lineup. In fact, he's won more than twice the earnings of the other four combined. He's pressed by this afternoon's favourite, Long Presse. Green and white colours won all three of his steeplechases so far. The only one yet to win a steeplechase is on the right there, Mr. Coffey, Nico de Boinville in the maroon jacket. Then comes Gladiator. Allen, orange colours for Chester Williams, who runs just about in fourth place as they jump number four, the pond fence, and close up behind him is Nick Schofield on Fugitive, who continues to be the back marker in the violet and white colours. So into the straight, this time down the straight will be a plain fence and an open ditch. On the left, pick Dory continues to have a very narrow advantage, although uh, Long Press is going to go past him as they come to their first open ditch, six and ten on the way round will both be open ditches. Uh, then Mr. Coffey is behind him on the right. Oh, absolutely demolished that open ditch. Mr. Coffey, they didn't seem to stop him. Good job they won't be jumping it next time round. Uh, but he just drops uh, momentarily now to be the back marker of the uh, Quintet. They pass the winning post, one circuit remaining. And this time round, there's only about three lengths between the five. Continues to be Pick Dory against the rail with Long Presse, white sleeve jacket alongside him. Uh, Mr. Coffey, a uh, length further back, to uh, drop back to fifth position after the mistake at the ditch, but is now back in third. Gladiator Allen, the orange colours, is with him between those, but probably about a length behind him is Fugitive with the white cap, just the back marker of the quintet. So down to the far side of the course they go. Plain fence downhill, number seven coming up, and Pick Dory moves on towards it from Long Presse. And into third position now is Gladiator Allen in the orange colours. Mr. Coffey wide of those. Take it in fourth place. And uh, out of the race there is Gladiator Allen. Number two has unseated Chester Williams at the uh, plain fence down the side of the course. They run into the back straight, then pick Dory and Long Presse still together. Three lengths behind those is Mr. Coffey in third place. Fugitive Allen is about four lengths behind him now in fourth position. Chester Williams is safely up on his feet. They come to the second fence down the far side. Pick Dory and Long Presse just landed in front there. Here's the second of the open ditches coming up behind those. Is Mr. Coffey about four or five lengths behind, took it in third position, Fugitive is in fourth. So now they're nearing the completion of a circuit, the water jump, they only take it once, it's number 11. And coming on towards it, Pick Dory in the hoops, Long Press here in the green and white, they continue to be together this pair. They are now about seven, eight lengths ahead to Mr. Coffey who's in third position and Fugitive in fourth. Six fences to go from here. Pick Dorian Lompresse at the first of the railways. A uh, little to choose between them there. Mr. Coffey on the right behind him in third place, then Fugitive. The second railway, Lompresse going on. Pick Dory didn't jump it too well in second position. This is four from the finish. Lompresse now a good lead. Four, five lengths ahead. The last couple just getting over it. Mr. Coffey just in third and Fugitive in fourth place. Still a long way from home here. And Long Presse will come round the home turn to the third last fence uh, with about a three length advantage. The loose horse, Gladiator Allen, is right next to him at the moment. Pick Dory is two, three lengths behind in third place. Still going okay though as they move down to the third last. Fugitive has taken third position and uh, then Mr. Coffey behind him. Three fences to jump. Long Presse. Uh, with Pick Dory, only a length and a half behind him in second position. Uh, Fugitive makes an error. Mr. Coffey has regained third position. Into the home straight. Two fences to go from here. And it is uh, Long Presse and Charlie Deutsch coming down towards the second last. Got over it. They're clear. 
Six, seven, Lenser Hug now. Pick Dorian second, Mr. Coffee in third, Fugitive in fourth. One fence to jump then. Lone Presse, this afternoon's favourite, heads down towards the 17th and final fence. Got over it safely. Going to remain on beaten over fences. Second position, Pick Dory, but only just Mr. Coffee might get the forecast position from him. But Lone Presse has coasted home here. Very impressive success. He's won the Virgin Bet Ciliar's Novices Chase, four from four. Mr. Coffee has taken in second position laid on pick Dory in third and uh, Fugitive will be in fourth it's the first group group one for uh, Charlie Deutsch well done how's that feel great um, yeah it was a lot easier than I was expecting to be honest um, but uh, he jumped so well so it makes my job easier especially when you're on your own like that and um, my main danger was the loose horse. Um, I wasn't sure if it had a rider on it first, but um, it was coming with, at a right gallop. But um, luckily, he he disappeared, and um, I don't know. I, I saw Bit Pick Dory down the back straight, but then didn't see him again. So some spectacle for us watching on. You and Pick Dory going sort of head to head. What was it like on board? Yeah, obviously, um, my lad made it easier for me because he jumped so well, and he's got a big open stride. And um, yeah, I was wondering how long we're going to be there together. Really, locked horns, but. Um, just okay. so powerful, the economic over his jumps and just relentless. I wouldn't know what, what what's his best trip, I wonder. Well, it's just, yeah, it's a job to know, really. Um, he finishes his race as well, but um, I'm sure he would get three miles, but obviously you don't want to change things too much if they're going well, do you? So. He's just very, very good, isn't he? Yeah, exactly, and um, they're just a joy to be around, really. First grade one, first for, obviously for Venetia as well. He's, he's been so good to you. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah. Thank you very much. Well done. Thank you. The Virgin Bet, Silly Isles, has been won by Lon Presse. Vinish Williams uh, joins us now. What a performance. Yeah, absolutely delighted, obviously. Yeah, really pleased. Um, I must admit, I, I was kind of... Um, I was I was a bit nervous for the expectation levels of, of making him odds on. You know, I, I was very impressed with Paul's horse. I, I know he fell at Newbury, but he was going so fast mm. at that point that um, I don't think anything would have lived with him mm. at that point. So, um, yeah, if, if he'd... If, if he'd done a similar round of jumping as us, I think you know it, 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 he would have been very tough to beat, but um, that wasn't the case. And your horse, he's just so economical over his fences. And by the railway fences, he's got horses rated high 130s, way out of their comfort zone, tailed off. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, um, and it was, you know, it's great that they, they 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 got some nice ground for us, you know, and and you know, we could see a horse, you know, gallop and jump and, and, and mm. show us his best. Um, from your Lady Rebecca's to your Teton Mills to Mon Moons winning Grand Nationals, the, the great ones, they're, they're hard to come by, good horses are hard to come by, it's, it's so special. <laughs> You're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> in, fact, in fact, it was this very race, which was um, my, my last great one winner yeah. um, many years ago um, with Golden Goal. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's uh, nice to come back here again. I well, imagine Cheltenham will stay at this trip, will you? Obviously he's in the, the two and a half and the three. Yes, I mean, I mean you'd only change, you know, a successful... Um, distance, if, if you've got mm. you know, particularly reason to do so, but um, yeah, I, I can't see us wanting to, to alter that because mm. obviously he won't he won't race again between now and then. Does he stand out at home? He's been very very good. Well, he hasn't done a piece of work since before his first run, mm. so you know you're you're not doing work mm. where you're you know testing him and getting mm. answers to a question like that. <laughs> mm. But he's just a just we've seen him going around the parade ring before, and he just. So he looks such an unassuming character. That's very, true. Yeah. Very, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah and no. it's great for Charlie this year. You, mm. you and him have teamed up. You've had a wonderful year. Yeah. No, it's been brilliant and, and, and really thrilled for Charlie. Mm. Um, yeah. No. Um, fantastic. Yeah. You've got a top-class horse. Well done. Thank you so much.